The answer is, whoops, answer is positive 9. Answer is negative 14. Answer is 14. The answer should be negative 8. Last one. Answer is negative 2. Winning numbers today were 2 and 3. Today, review for the test, which is tomorrow. Practice problem number one. We're just going to go through these. You walk through here. Show me the calculator screen. There will be a bonus in between if time allows. If you missed class yesterday, everything you need to see is on YouTube. Matrix A, type that in and swap row 1 with row 2. And you must have the row swap function visible on your screen. And the final answer below it. Your final answer here should have 4, 6, 3, 1 in the first row and 2, 1, 7, 2 in the second. And of course the last one will stay in there as well. Not enough time for a bonus on this one so we will skip it. Practice number two. Matrix A is given to you up there. Multiply row one by three and add it to row two. Store the result in row two. Which operation is this? Which function? It is star row plus that you would use on this. If you did this right, your cell here should have a negative 2 in it, and then the rest of them should fall into line accordingly. <coughs> There's no time for a bonus on this one. The next practice problem. You have list 1 given to you, and you have to sort list 1 by ascending order, and then find the sum of cells 3 through 8. The answer is negative 3. Here's another practice problem. L1 is given to you and sort by descending order after you put it in. Find the product of cells 4 through 9. The answer on this should be 0. We'll go ahead and do a bonus next. Find the determinant of this matrix. Answer on this one will return an invalid dimension because you have a 3 by 4 matrix. Here's another practice problem. Create a 4 by 4 identity matrix. Your answer on this should have a diagonal of 1's like this and then of course everything else is filled in with zeros. A bonus problem. We'll try this one. The determinant of 2, 1, 1, 1. Answer should be 1. Another practice problem. Augment matrix A, given there to you, with matrix B, also given. Answer should be 3, 2, 1, 4, 2 and then six, seven, five, seven, three. We'll do this bonus. Find the sum of L1 if that is L1 given to you on the screen. You must use the functions and not just run through and add it up and type it in the calculator. Answer is nine. Here's another practice. There is L1, and I need you to find the cumulative sum of L1. The answer will return a list that looks similar to this. It starts with negative 2, and then you add negative 1 to it to get negative 3, and so on. A bonus problem, we will skip on this in the interest of time. We'll go back if we have time. Practice problem. Create a 3x3 three three random matrix. 
Make certain the random matrix function is visible on the screen. All answers will be different on this, but it should be a 3x3 three three matrix. Here's another bonus problem. Multiply those two together. Answer is 10, 4, 22, and 8. Another practice problem. Solve this system of equations. Simply bring up on a piece of paper the three numbers in alphabetical order that are the solution to this 3x3 three three system of equations. Answer is 3, 3, 4. No time for this bonus. Here's a practice. Matrix A, swap row 1 and row 2. You simply have to swap the rows, so you should have 3, 2, negative 2, 6, and then 2, 2, negative 1, 4. Before you come up with your money, we will review the rest of what's on here. For this one, if you send these lists to a matrix, you're going to use the list to matrix function. It's very simple. Send these lists to a matrix. So you'd have to type in the list you're using, all of them, and as well as the matrix name. And then for this one, find the determinant. What would the answer be? Invalid, yes. Find the median of L3, simply type it in and use the median function. Put L3 beside it, gives you the median. Find the mean, same thing, just use the mean function, type in L1. And then for the sum, it's the same thing except you can find the sum of the whole list or if you put comma after sum and put in two cell numbers separated by a comma, you can find the sum between those cells. And fill a 5x5 five five matrix with 9. Use the uh, fill command. You have to identify the matrix and what you're filling in there. And convert this matrix into three lists, so it's matrix to lists. Identify the matrix, and then the list that you're going to put them into. You'd have three different lists on that one. And that's it. We have a test tomorrow.